Good day. Today we'll be learning about the method of mixtures. Our objective today is to determine the final temperature of a mixture of liquids using the methods of mixtures. The theory we'll be using today is that when two objects come in contact with each other, the hotter object will lose thermal energy and the cooler object will gain thermal energy. You have experienced this before if you've ever bought Kit Dunfen's chicken in the brown paper bag and put it next to your cold soft drink. What happens? The kick down chicken that was initially hot cools down and your cold soft drink heats up. So the formula that we'll be using today, based on our theory, the loss in heat energy is equal to the gain in heat energy and that can be expressed mathematically as M1 times C1 times the quantity theta1 minus theta f is equal to M2 times C2 times the quantity theta f minus theta2 where M1, C1, and theta1 are the mass, specific heat capacity, and initial temperature of the hot object. M2, C2, theta2 are the mass, specific capacity, and initial temperature of the cooler object. And theta f is the final temperature of the mixture. So let's get into an example. Unfortunately, there is no electricity and Zakia wants to take a bath. She boils 1.5 kilograms of water and pours it into a bucket holding 4.5 kilograms of water at 30 degrees Celsius. What will be the final temperature of the mixture? Assume that the water is pure and is at sea level. Our solution? We start off by listing our givens. So the mass of the hot water is 1.5 kilograms. Since it is water, its specific heat capacity is 4,200 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. The initial temperature of the hot water, since it is boiling at sea level, would be 100 degrees Celsius. M2, the mass of the cooler water, is 4.5 kilograms. Since it is water also, it would be 4,200 joules per kilogram degree Celsius for its specific heat capacity. And the initial temperature of the cool water is 30 degrees Celsius, as stated in the problem. The final temperature is what we are to find. Next, after identifying our givens, we proceed by writing our formula. Then, we substitute our values. After we substitute the values accordingly, we would simplify by multiplying 1.5 times 4,200, which would give you 6,300. And then, 4.5 times 4,200 gives you 18,900. Next, we expand brackets. So 6,300 times 100 gives you 630,000. And then minus 6,300 theta f equal 18,900 theta f minus 567,000. Transposing, we'll have 630,000 plus 567,000 equal 18,900 theta f plus 6,300 theta f. Adding, we get 1,197,000 is equal to 25,200 theta f. So theta f would be 1,197,000 divided by 25,200, which would give you 47.5 degrees Celsius. So it would be a nice warm temperature of 47.5 degrees Celsius that Zakia is used to when bathing with the electric heater. Another way we could have worked out this problem is by not using 4,200 joules per kilogram degree Celsius for the specific capacity of water. Although we know it, we don't have to use that value because since it is water being mixed with water, the specific heat capacities would be the same. So instead of that value, that number of 4,200, we could use any symbol for it. So in this case, I have chosen to use the symbol C. C for the specific capacity of the hot water and C for the specific capacity of the cold water. So our formula would remain the same. And now when we substitute, it would be 1.5 times C times all the rest and so on and so forth. And since it is the same C on both sides of the equation, what would happen here is that they would cancel out. You can divide both sides by C since it is the same. So then you would be left with much smaller numbers, only 1.5 times in brackets 100 minus theta f. And on the other side, 4.5 times 
in brackets theta f minus 30. So expanding brackets, 1.5 times 100 is 150. And we'll have minus 1.5 theta f and 4.5 theta f. And on the other side, 4.5 times 30 is 1 minus 135. And then we transpose and add 150 plus 135, add 4.5 plus 1.5. We get 285 is equal to 6 theta f, so theta f would be 285 divided by 6, which would give you the same answer of 47.5 degrees Celsius. The advantage of doing this method is that if you don't have your calculator, you can still get the answer without having to do with big answers. And if you don't know, let's say maybe the specific capacity of the substances, as long as they are the same, you don't need to know what the, subs, um, what the specific capacities are. Or maybe let's say the masses. As long as you know how much mass is in one and how much mass is in the other, if you don't know the exact values in terms of kilograms or grams or liters or anything like that, you don't need to know it as long as you have a relationship between them. Maybe, for example, let's say if one is twice as much as the other. So let's get to our practice problem. A. On a very cold morning, BEL has decided to give people a surprise and has shut off the electricity. Zari needs to take a bath, so she boils a certain amount of water and pours it into a bucket holding 9 times the amount of water at 15 degrees Celsius. What will be the final temperature of the mixture? B. If 25 degrees Celsius is considered just okay for her, will this mixture suit her needs? Assume that the water is pure and is at sea level. So pause the video at this point in time. Work it out, and then when you're finished, unpause and check the answer in 3, 2, 1. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And I think you will also enjoy these other videos that you can view. Thank you. Have a good day.